Hello. Okay. Uh, the streams don't usually happen today. So apologies if this caught you off guard and you are displeased about it. But I'm home for the weekend. Not weekend. I'm home for the week. For spring break. And I love streaming from... Not only do I just not have class going on so I have more time, but also I love streaming from this room so much more than loving... Then I love... <laughs> okay. We're going to go... We're going to go again. I love streaming from my room at home much more than than I enjoy streaming from my room in, at school. I like my room at school, the room itself, more. I think it looks nicer. But... I like my desk much more at home. It's something about streaming in the basement from a carpeted floor. I don't know. I enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, we're back where it all started. This is the... the I, I conceived... I conceived... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say it. I was about to stop myself. I conceived my channel, baby. Within my... Within my mind... <laughs> mind uterus. In this room. Uh, so, it it's special to me. I enjoy it. Um, and yeah. We're going to play Stardew Valley today. And tomorrow. Two days, back to back. How exciting is that? I've had a big morning. Because I thought I had a dentist appointment tomorrow. And my plan was gonna was to get my hair cut this morning. Uh, my cam I didn't bring my camera home, so unfortunately I can't show you my haircut. Which is good, because it always looks terrible for the first couple weeks before it starts growing back. Um, but I woke up at 11.10. I rolled, like I rolled over at 11.10, picked up my phone. My eyes were like all squinty, because I got to bed really late. And I check it, and it's like, all right, looking forward to seeing you today at 11.40 for your dentist appointment. And I was like... Oh my god. Um so I had and it was it's about a 16 minute drive away. So at that point I calculated that I had approximately 15 minutes. Um and I'm so freaking sensitive like uh, with all the pot stuff. My body's so sensitive like I really have to go through a specific morning routine or I will ha just shut down for the day. So like I have to shower, I have to eat breakfast. And I have to take a pill with breakfast. And a, and a sizable breakfast. That all has to happen in the morning. Right after I wake up. So I was like, okay, all these things need to happen. <laughs> so I, I sprung up. I took like a one minute long hyper shower. Got dressed. Ran upstairs. Or I brushed my teeth. Because I obviously do anyway. But also like I have a dentist appointment. So it's especially important. So I brushed my teeth. I, I, did, I like quote did my hair. I just like. Pfft. And then I ran upstairs. Grabbed like. A bunch of different scattered things I could have for breakfast. Put through them all into my car, and then just like, vroom, and like, definitely broke a lot of laws uh, to get to the dentist. Got there on time somehow. Over the course of that 60-minute drive, within my car, I made and ate a peanut butter sandwich, ate a banana, ate a, like a one of those little applesauce pouches, the Go Go Squeeze ones that are absolute money. They're delicious. I have like one of those a day. They're great. Um, took my pill. And I ran inside, had my dentist appointment, and then I went straight from there to get my hair cut. And then got my hair cut, and then came right back here about 15 minutes ago. And now I'm gonna live stream. So, spring break isn't much of a break so far, but who cares? I'm enjoying it very much. No. I was just walking through McDonald's because I was hungry. <laughs> I already, I already champed my burger and my 10 piece nug, so now I'm working on my fries. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay. So. Playing Stardew Valley. Let me go ahead and boot it up. Actually, before I do, does anyone have any mod requests? I've, like, added one or two new mods every stream, and that's not a trend I want to keep up, but I don't know if there's, like, any mods someone really wants me to add that I can investigate before we get started. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. But, yeah, big day. So far. Man. So yeah, I'll be live again this time tomorrow for more 
Stardew Valley. Do you have hats? Don't mess up hair. I do, and it doesn't work <laughs> for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game. It's launching. Okay, now, the game audio is, has been far too quiet. I watched back all the Stardew Valley expanded of the past, and I think the the game audio is too quiet. So we're gonna bump, we're gonna bump that up. It's because it was Sonic the Hedgehog like really screwed me. Okay. There we are. Ickle. All right, Ickle. Let's move, you and me. Now, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what to do. Truthfully, I am lost. Uh, but yeah, happy to get my hair cut, even though everyone in my life tells me that I look better with the long hair. Uh, because it's not worth it. There's the whole beauty is pain argument. But like, dude, the discomfort of having hair touch my forehead is not something that I will stand for. Ever. <gasps> I gotta take my pills! I almost forgot. Thank God, I'm, I've become so freaking sensitive that I can just kind of feel an imbalance in my gut. I just like launched and I was like, something's off. It's like, I gotta take my pills, man. But yeah, so, unfortunately, as the folks in my life tell me, I've become marginally less hot for now. <laughs> but it'll, it'll, it'll come back. And also, I just, I cannot handle hair touching my face, ever. In any context. So I, I, I gotta cut it as short as I can handle. Okay. I dropped it, one of them. On the floor. Okay. Checking your shipping bin. Pierre and Sophie had a large number of products to ship this morning. Okay, am I supposed to care? Very happy you're getting situated here in Stardew Valley and you're making great progress on McCrutt's farm. Thanks, Boo. Uh, why? Are you trying to, like, light a fire under me? Because I've... I've, I've... I've got plenty of fire there already. Going to work. Oh, lost some frames there. <gasps> lost some frames there, but that's fine. Okay. I need to keep working on the gold as often as I can smelt it. Because I want to get as many... Um... Whatever. Sprinklers. As I can manage. Uh, before the first day of summer. That's the goal here. Uh, I could sell that. I'll keep it. It's fine. I don't know what this song is from. It's kind of bizarre. But that's fine. Or am I supposed to care? Are we missing any community center things? That I can go ahead and put in like a community center chest. There you go. Purple mushroom. Um, and then, yeah. Fire quartz is community center. Normal quartz. Earth crystal and, and frozen tear. There we are. Um... I already had one. <laughs> and then, what were the other ones? It was the Solar Essence and 10 Bat Wings. There we are. So that's uh, two bundles done in the boiler room. Adventures bundle, finished. Correct, yes. Uh, and Geologist is done. This sucks, man. Five refined quartz, one iridium ore. 
one battery pack. That really blows. Okay. Let me take a, take stock of everything I've got here for quality sprinklers. I've got a lot of gold ore. I should make some more furnaces, honestly. I'm missing the stone. Okay, well, we're going to go gather some stone. Found some. Oh, I got to turn animation canceling on. It's going to take me, like, what, half an hour to get myself sorted like it always does? So, please allow half an hour before I understand what's going on. And we can get back to, like, playing the video game. Okay, three more furnaces. Thought you'd be done with start after perfection. Well, I finished that playthrough about two calendar years ago. So, short answer is yes, I was. <laughs> but it was long enough that it, like, reset. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on my gold. Uh, copper axe pickup needs to happen. I'm gonna start making chopping the hardwood stumps on my farm a daily routine. Uh, because... I need to get to foraging level 6 as soon as I can manage. Uh, to get a lightning rod before summer comes. So I can get a battery pack for the community center. And then I just need to worry about finding it one already more somehow. Okay. Let me water my straggle plants. And then we kind of have a full day today. Let me crunch some numbers on the ore. I think 50 quality sprinklers is a good target to aim for. Uh, 21 iron. Uh, so I would need... About 30 bars is, what, 150 ore. Um, so, yeah, we need some more iron. And then... Um, I think we're actually squared on gold if we go for 50. So, eventually, we can hit the mines and get some more iron. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to have to use these shitty ones because they make me upset. Okay. Well, then we can take today to go pick up our axe, and then we'll do some foraging and wood cutting. Will be the focus today. Try and get, first of all, some more wood to work on sprucing up our farm. And second of all, uh, foraging experience. So let's put those away. Um, okay. We're going straight to Clint. Straight there. Okay. No lollygagging. None. What's a lollygag? What did I? Jesus Christ! You guys are so insufferable. Trash. Neat. All right, Clint. Give me the goods. I should have brought my uh, geodes and donatable stuff and community center. A lot of stuff I should have done instead of just leaving my house like a like an oaf. Well, I'll probably have extra time at the end of the day. To, I don't care what you think about me. Look, this is how little like. Well, now I can't even give it to you. Where do you live, Clint? I thought you just... Yeah, you do live here. Then where the frick were you? Yeah, what do you think? This makes you depressed? Good. I'm glad. Yay! Copper axe. Thanks, Clint. You're good for something, I suppose. Okay, we're going to take the loop up north, wrap back around to go back to our farm so we can grab all our stuff for the community center. Okay. For the community center. And then we'll donate and then go south to the beach and then hit all that forested area to the left this area getting a makeover is so so huge because this this area was just sad i also have the pelican statue it's just like yellow dirt in the game there's just like nothing here stardew valley expanded the main downside of stardew valley expanded is that it's kind of going to ruin this game for me forever <laughs> because there are just so many things where it's like why isn't this just like how the game is with the like life everywhere? Yeah, I for most of the time mods, I'm like, yeah, this is good as like an external mod that is like not just the game. But my two like main takeaways 
from this one are um what, what was that? I lost my train of thought oh yeah the two main out of all these mods I have the two main ones where I'm like this should just be how the game is the reflection mod especially is like such a minor thing to like have your guy reflect in the water and like pretty easy to code in and it just makes it adds like that little bit of polish that is really nice uh and then just the 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 aspect of expanded that is that like grass and trees just kind of grow everywhere is like very nice okay now how much time is left on these do i i can i can hang around put in some more uh gold okay all of these are getting donated hey i mean if i have the time i go ahead and chop the hardwood on my farm like i want to anyway huh how about that oh you f i don't have my pickaxe on me i could just run grab it it's like literally right there but it's fine i don't care okay here we are this is what it's all about. I'll check out that little zone in a moment. Okay, I can't get down here because of this big, big dog. Um, why am I doing that? Oh. Oh no. What is this? Whatever this one was, it's now in ruins. Oh, it's the uh, greenhouse dummy. Well, then what's that thing to the top left? There's like two broken down buildings, and there's only supposed to be one. So something new has been added to the video game. Did you build the beach bridge? I did. So how about them apples? Okay. Um, seems counterintuitive because we're doing wood cutting later, but it's only four, and we're going to have an inventory slot to be, uh, freed up before we get to cutting wood so it's all good all right there's more we can reach eventually i want to get a, a steel axe pretty soon as well but yeah it's all good these stumps aren't leaving it's the ones that regenerate every day that i really okay uh let's sub out Son of a bitch. Okay, let me... Uh, okay. I'm leaving. My luck is awesome, so... That's cool. I'm not going to get any use out of it. Because I'm just making today a live off the land kind of day. Okay. Uh, exotic foraging. We got this. Oh, cave carrot, man. We have those. Shit. All right. Well, we'll have to get a cave carrot sometime soon. We're almost done with that bundle. Um, let's go ahead and do this while we're in the neighborhood. And then, um, fall foraging. We've got a plum. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, summer foraging. We've got a spice berry. Winter foraging. We'll get there. Pantry. Spring crops is done. Animal we can't do. Artisan. We've got a peach. How about them apples? Um, yeah, fall crops, summer crops, quality crops. No dice, no dice, no dice. Um, oh, yeah, what is our summer quality crop? Oops. Gold melons. We can do that. So we're going to want to plant a half the amount of melons as well as blueberries. I don't have any of these. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Okay. And the sea urchin, I don't even have a bulletin board yet. Well, I'm, I'm about to. So. so it's fine. There we go. Thanks. And then, um, there we go. Five omni geodes and a small magnet ring. 
The small magnet ring is extremely appreciated. Okay, vault we'll do later. Uh, when money matters less. Okay, this is huge. This is like the most important bundle reveal because this could have some really deep cut ones. Fodder bundle, normal. Home cooks bundle, that is new. 10 egg, 10 milk, any. That'll be easy once we get animals going in 100 flower we can buy. Forager's bundle. 50 salmon berries, 50 blackberries, 20 wild plums. The 50 salmon berries sucks. No, because we only need two of them. All right, then we'll just hit forging really hard in the fall and we can get these two. Super. Super duper. And then field research is uh, purple mushroom, not a little shell. Same. Same as, same as always. Cool, cool. I'm assuming the, the, the vault bundles don't get remixed because it's literally just, hey, have some cash. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Things will fall into place. Don't, don't fret everyone. I'm less pressed on finishing the community center for now and more worried about just getting the mine carts. That's the biggest thing. Greenhouse also couldn't hurt. Hello, Victor. Have any plans today? I think I may continue work on a project I'm in the middle of. You are the least cool person around. You bore me. You're a chore, Victor. Book. Some stuff for crab pot bundle. Very cool. Turn music down a little bit. There we go. Did I see correctly that there's now like a little path you can take over here? Oh my goodness. Oh, I see. Well, cool nonetheless. There's Blue Moon Vineyard. But like, who cares, really, if we're being honest. Uh, and now... Okay. <laughs> Game had some trouble there. That's fine. We're about to get to the spot where it all really counts. And that is, of course, the western whatever the hell. Cinder sap forest is, of course, obviously, of course, what I'm referencing. Fairhaven farm. I love that there are competing farmers. Your farm is lovely. You're not even home. Okay. Your farm is lovely, though. You're doing a great job. I really like it. I'd like to get to know Andy a little better. Is Andy marryable? <laughs> so I, don't, I have no idea who that is. Um... No. No, he's not. That would have been wild. And also would have instantly become a contender <laughs> for him to join America. Because I'm just so intrigued what that would look like. Okay. Back to work. Uh. There's so much forest. Uh. Uh. Inventory full. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are correct about that. Well. 
I have tons of daffodils. I just want to pick it up for the experience. Stars are about to show up in the water, I think. I think 850 is when they show up. Not today. No stars today. It's a clear night. Or maybe the days are just getting longer because we're getting closer to summer. Who's to say? That's an aspect of Stardew Valley. That I've always wondered why it isn't game. I guess just because it takes more time to code. But I think like the time it gets dark should vary really greatly. Depending on what season you're in. As it does in IRL. Okay, wait. Can I... Hold on. What happens if I sneak? No way. There's like nothing to see here. Wait, there's more. Hold on. Don't look anyone's home. Oh, that's where I got the maple syrup, isn't it? I think I've been there before. I think. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna pass out. I lost track of time. Here is uh, Aurora Vineyard, which is extremely abandoned. We did not even hit level five foraging, let alone six. Oh, I want that. Okay, I'll risk it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. A four leaf clover. So to bring good luck makes a nice gift. That's new. I like that. I didn't even know they added new forgeables. Thanks guys. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, well, I'm keeping that, obviously. There we go. Okay, we, uh, we're farther off from level 5 foraging than I thought we would be by the end of today. Given how much stuff we found. Because the problem was that we didn't find enough stuff. Because look at all this stuff I found. Okay, we should, we should go. We should absolutely go. I think I, I think I took too much time. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I did that. Just screwing myself. Thought about killing myself. Bing! Come on now. Oh my god, you bastard. Uh, I have a lot of horseradishes. The XP is more valuable. Okay. Ooh, stomp. Oh my god. Please. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I even have time, I think, to put in a new thing of gold. Yes. Outstanding. All right. All is well, team. All is well. This is why you never panic. I don't think I pet my dog today. Okay. Almost level five forging. Almost. It's bad luck day. So... Okay. Another green bean. Um, community center. This we've already donated, I suppose. Okay. Nothing community center. So we'll just uh, hoard it all. I suppose. Some more claims. Uh, Coral will be sold. 
definitely. We have some strawberries to pick today. We've got uh, a four-leaf clover, which apparently makes a nice gift, so we'll save it. There we go. Uh, okay. Well then, I guess I'll sell this. All right, well, let's have ourselves a great day. How about? How about that? How about let's get out there and make it a great day? My back is just throbbing in pain. <laughs> we leveled up! Level six. Tough. Um... I can make preserves jars. We should make a couple of those. I, nope, we, we shouldn't because I don't have nearly enough stone. Like, not even... I don't even have any. I have zero stone. Alright, well, we're gonna need some stone pretty soon here. Uh, well, I'll toss those. There we are. Now... All right, you've served your purpose. <laughs> it's time to it's time to go. Uh, okay. Now, uh, let me. We're gonna spend the beginning of today doing some fence work. We're also probably close to getting the hardwood fence recipe, and we're gonna be able to make enough hardwood that we can start doing hardwood fences. I like how the wood fences look more, but with the decay, it's just not worth it. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. And then here it can be some grass and like a lamp post. Also, I've been thinking about the path thing and I might just not even do pads. Cause this farm already kind of has these like built in cute like dirt trails and I might just leave it like that. Cause I, I kind of like the way it looks, but I also like this stone path at least in this little area. Though this is going to go. This is going to go. Or at least, it. I think it can stay, but it at least should uh, extend like all the way. One, I'm literally one short. But yeah, I, I just don't know. There's a lot of figuring out to do with the paths, unfortunately. Um, if I have enough, I can, maybe I should spend today gathering stone. So we're gonna need to gather some iron. I have 21 and 71 ore. 71 ore is enough for 14 bars, so that's 35. So I need, uh, 75 more ore. So let's start today by running over. Woof. Let's run over to the mines. Let's gather 75 iron ore. And uh, any stone we happen to come across. And then I'll come right back here and spend the rest of the day probably doing some foraging stuff. I didn't bring my hoe, so there's two of them. There's two even. There's two even. God damn. 
Okay, how long is it going to take me to get 75 iron ore? That's the question. Hopefully not too long. I've got my level 5 perks. That'll help. Oh, I... Okay. Okay, any of the, like, big rocks we will break. Go ahead, beat me up. Shoot me down! Got- Stop! Thanks. Uh, let's zoom out. Okay. I think 50... I think 50 quality sprinklers is a reasonable goal to aim for. I do. I do. Okay. Is that such a crime? Already at 36. We'll be fine. Cool, thanks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Gather them all. Like the Pied Piper. Come to me, babies. Thank you. You're such good listeners. There we go. That's 10 stone right there. 10! Maybe I should spend some time today also uh, gathering stone. Which I think, I think floor 20 is a good spot to do that. And just break all the big rocks. And the like gray shiny ones. Plus, I can grab any copper I find that could turn into more furnaces if I find enough stone. Okay. Asshole. Look at that. Three localized quartzes. Seventy-nine. We're good. Okay, let's get some uh, stone now. Maybe I should. I should get. I should get twenty-five extra iron. I should go to an even hundred so I can uh, get a steel axe once I have the money to do that. I also gotta make sure I have enough money to buy the seeds I want because I want mostly blueberries. I forget how much blueberries cost. I think they're like eighty a pop. I'm gonna hope that I'm correct on that front because that would be cool if I had it memorized. Um. And if I had 50 sprinklers, that would be 400. 400 times 80 would be, what is that, like 3,200? I mean 32,000. So, I would need to somehow scrape together 32,000 gold. Which might not be doable at all. But I also, I'm going to grow some other crops, so. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to do some fishing probably either tomorrow or probably the next two days. We'll figure it out. Hey guys, we'll figure it out, okay? So stop freaking out. There we go. That should do it. Not quite, but... One more node. I went to the wrong floor. It's fine, I need stone. Any that are naturally in my way, I'll just grab. I 
don't care. It's going to be used in our item. We're going to find a grillion of them in winter anyway. It's fine. It's also great energy. Right, give me one iron node. Thanks. I ended up actually needing two. Okay. Now I'll get some stone. I have all the iron that I need. Okay. It's not worth my time. It's not. Cool. Am I feeling so bored right now? It's so much stimulus going on. It's because your attention span is cooked. It's all right. Everybody's in the same boat. Whoops. Fifteen. Uh oh. Oh wait. No, it's fine. I don't care. Okay. Um, hundred and six stone. That'll do. No, it won't. I want more because I want to. I need a hundred alone for the two preserve jars I want to make. Plus, I want to have enough ar around for like if I want to make furnace or if I want um paths, especially paths because I care about. I care deeply about aesthetics in my life. Okay, whatever. Whatever. You're wasting my time. I'm a busy man. I should be going to the cart. I should be going to the cart. No, I shouldn't. All right, now. I forgot how tight we are on money. Uh, so that'll actually wait another little while. 122. Could be better. Let's get to like 150 and then I'll go home. Okay, I need more of those uh, big rocks. Eh, I mean, these also drop coal, so I should... I should be breaking these, yeah. Okay. Cool. Here we go. All right, and I'm going home. Okay, that was good. Got everything I needed. I have all the iron I need. I have all the wood I need. Not wood, stone I need. I'll make a couple of preserves jars. And those will go in those two whack little spots outside my house. I want to make some bread. It's cold in my house today. I like it cold. I got a window open right now. And I'm loving it. <laughs> Good night, people of Stardew Valley. Alright, we'll see how much all of our strawberries sell for here. Hopefully a good amount. Check on my cave. Cool. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Also, I'm going to have to prep enough land for 50 sprinklers worth of crops, which is certainly easier said than done. We're going to cover like that whole area, and we're probably going to have to clear out this big zone. Because one of these two fenced in areas is going to be for animals, and I'm thinking it's going to be this one up here. Okay. Um, nope. Stupid asshole. And my music's over. I gotta pick a new playlist. Freddy f fart hole something another. Done. 
This one I've already done on one of these uh, streams, so there's going to be some repeat songs. Apologies, team. Apologies. Apologies, but also quit your incessant and insufferable whining. Let's see. Um, we'll finish off gold and then get started on some iron. Coal is a problem. I don't know how I didn't foresee this. Coal is absolutely going to be a problem. I don't have nearly as much as I need. Especially for all that quartz I'm going to need to smell. Yeesh. Okay. Um, well, then the preserve jars are definitely going to have to wait because that's 16 coal alone. Damn. Okay. That's pretty brutal. Um... Jinkies. Alright, well... We could... Could grind for coal. Because the easiest thing to do would be to buy it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have the money. We'll have to make a game plan tomorrow. Today, let's do some farm... Or tonight, I should say. Let's do some... Let's do, let's do some clearing. Wow. Had some trouble with that. Let's... Uh, 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 speak, dumbass. Okay, I'm putting that away. Alright. I'm gonna clear out all this tonight. All right, mark my worms. Let me initiate. Energy's gonna be a problem. I'm also definitely not clearing all this out. <laughs> what am I talking about? There's literally no reality where I can handle that. Okay, we're gonna start with wood. Okay, um... It's fine. Bomb it? I like that idea. I'm gonna cut down the trees myself for the XP, but... Bombing it is smart. I don't know if I'll have enough ore to do that. Probably. I like the way you think, though. Clever. Level up. Let's level five. So we could pass out if we wanted to. No, because that'll lose money and we are tight on cash. Never mind. Damn. I really worked myself into a corner here. <laughs> Shit, dude. There we go. All right, let's see if I can craft a bomb. We'll find we'll find a loving home for you in a second. Wooden brazier. Um, is it brazier or brazier? Brazier, because I've heard both. Brazier, brazier. I think it's a dialect thing. I'm assuming it's it's like UK versus American. Yes. Um, brazier. Brazier is American. Brazier is UK. Yeah, American pronunciation is Brazier. Brazier. And then British is. Brazier. Oh, Brazier. <laughs> you freaks. Brazier. Brazier. Go out and light the Brazier, please. Would you mind lighting the Brazier? That's what you guys sound like. Do you ever did you ever stop and realize that that's what you sound like? Like that's actually that's you making those sounds. It's a bit dim. Should get out there and light the brazier. Embarrassing. I'm gonna blow up this beautiful field. Stupendous. Okay, I can only afford one. <laughs> so now we're gonna get back to work. Let's do stone. Uh, 16. Meow. Meow. 
Did I blow up some of my path? I did not mean to. Oh, nay. I fear that I did. Alright, this coal thing is a travesty. I could have two days of fishing, so I'm going to have to calculate. It all depends on how much money our strawberries make us. We need to end with at least 32k after the next two days. Uh, so we'll see if I'll have enough budget room to buy some coal from Clint. Because I don't know, man. Coal's pricey, but also we really need a lot of it. And time is equally as valuable as money is. L England, Ireland on top. You guys sound stupid too. <laughs> Just so you know. Oops. All right, we did it. I told y'all we were going to have it all clear by the end of the night. I told you to mark my worms. I hope you marked them. Okay, how much time is left on these? 20 minutes? We're going to push it. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody sounds stupid except for people local to me. Yay! Hardwood fence. Hardwood fence, cheese press, quality sprinkler. And I am a gatherer as well. La 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 la. La la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. We are not even close, dude. We're fucked. <laughs> okay, no. Let's not circle the wagons just yet. Um, rain tomorrow. It has, like, not rained at all. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see here. I, I did this to myself. I love how I was like, I'm going to do it chill this time. I'm going to do a chill playthrough. I couldn't even make it, it one season without being like, I can't buy enough sprinklers, dude. I should quit. I should delete the file. Okay, coal is an issue. Here's here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through. I'm going to sell everything that I can manage to part with. Uh, we'll put that stepping stone back at a later date. Time is really of the essence right now. Okay, we need like about 50 coal. Because we have eight bars there. And then... Yeah, so we need about 50 coal. Coal sells for 150 gold, to my knowledge, at Clint's. That is 7,500 gold. So we need to somehow make about 20,000 gold within the next two days. I don't know if that's possible. We're going to take today to like basically min-max the amount of money we could possibly make. To, I, I, you know, actually we won't because I don't know how to do that. Does anyone know any fancy schmancy techniques to make more money than it would make me to just fish all day? <laughs> It's fine. No, no. We'll, we'll, we'll replace this when I have like a sell crack. I don't know how to. Okay, well, let me sell all my fancy schmance. That's getting, those three are getting sold. These six are getting sold. Don't need this. As long as I save like one of each, I don't care. Um, sell the diamond. Sell the emerald. Screw it. I'm really strapped for cash. I'll just take the hit. Forgeables can be sold. A lot of them can. Especially the daffodils. Those can all be sold. All the ones I'm holding right now. This can be sold as well. Um, okay. Alright, we'll see how much that nets me. Speed grow could be helpful for later. Hold on to it. Okay.
All right. Spring seeds. Saturday forageables. The thing is, I don't know if that would make as much money because, like, fishing all day would make me a real solid amount of money. So I don't know if going foraging would be a good use of my time because of how much empty time there is doing that. So I think my plan is going to be... I think we save the cockamamie schemes for tomorrow if they are... If they become necessary. I think new plan is I'm going to spend literally the whole day as much as I can manage today fishing. I don't know if eight sand berries is going to be enough. I'll bring my uh, five leaks as well just in case. Uh, but yeah, we're going to fish the whole day. And then we're going to see how much money we get from all the fish we fish up and all the shit I just sold. And then we'll evaluate tomorrow. Because I have all of the, like, resources I need to get the sprinklers. It's just coal and and money. That's it. Coal to actually smelt them and money. We're even skipping the affordables. I don't even care. And money to uh, buy the seeds. Tomorrow's rain so you could go catfish fishing, which is a lot of dollar. Yes. <coughs> oh, no. <coughs> I swallowed at a bad time. Uh, this is—I was about to say—this is the out-of-box thinking that we need. <laughs> oh, I burped. Okay. Focus up here. I don't know. Like, when I first got this game, like in 2017, this was the best fishing spot for money, and I've just kind of stuck to that programming forever since then. I don't know if that's necessarily the case anymore. I like—I don't know how much catfish are worth. If it's worth taking the hit on the fact that most of the river fish are worth a lot less than the uh, lake fish are. Okay, well, that's not going to do it. That is a cheapo fish. Per per Damn it. I was going to say, perfect catches are way more important now because that quality bonus is extra money that we don't want to miss. Damn, could have gotten an iridium one if I stuck around. There it is. Shit. Yeah, the largemouth bass is the prize piece. They sell for quite a bit. So anytime we hook one of those, I'm pumped. Yep, look at that. This is a great start. All right, this is going to be all day now. When I watch min maxers, they go catfishing in the spring. Oops. But I don't know if that's only worth it for early game. I'll try it. Um, I'll do some research, actually. It depends on... We'll see how much of a dire financial situation I'm in <laughs> come tomorrow morning. Oh, Jesus. Some treasure. Some valuable treasure would be great. Dude, if we somehow pull a treasure chest, that would be so huge. You trust your fishing ability to catch multiple catfish. I do, honestly. I think I'd be able to do it. Because I'm all the way up to, like, level 6 or whatever. So I have that big bar. I think I, I would be able to. I do. I don't know if I'm, I'm being too boastful. But I do think I'd be able to handle it. If I didn't, I'd be embarrassed because I have, like, a thousand hours in this game. Oh, I'm going to zoom in. I keep forgetting to zoom back in after going... Oh, god damn it. After going to the mines. Dude, give me the shake and bake. Okay, we're going to get that treasure chest because it could have something very valuable in it. Whoops. There you go. Let's see something nice. There we go. All is well. 
You're definitely one of the best fishers I've seen of starter creators. I refuse to believe that's true. I'm really flattered. <laughs> uh, but whatever. I appreciate it. I hope you're correct because that would make me happy. Whoops. It's true, I've seen Shawnee and it's not good. <laughs> Love Shawnee, but he's a bit of a travesty at times. Suck it, dude. Sean confuses me a lot because he alternates between, like whenever I watch him, I alternate between like, Sean is not that great at video games. And then sometimes I'm like, wow, Sean's actually really good at this game. <laughs> so I, Sean is a mystery uh, with the gaming thing. Like he, he's, he's basically every game we've played together, at least in recent memory, he's carried me through. So I can't in good conscience say Sean's bad at video games when in both Terraria and Binding of Isaac, he was definitely like <laughs> the better one. He's lost almost every single collab he's done. I mean, same, to be fair. La 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 la. Uh, most people I know pronounce it squirrel, like girl. Oh, we're talking about squirrel. We just only have one syllable here in the U.S., like squirrel. I know some people say like squirrel, like kind of with two syllables, like squirrel, squirrel. But yeah, I say squirrel. I actually cracked that eyes if I thought there was a fee to come back from Ginger Island. <laughs> Squirrel and swirl do rhyme in, in, in American. Yeah, American English, squirrel. Do you say it still has two syllables? No, squirrel. That's one syllable. Syllables are counted by vowel clusters. And since that last E is not pronounced, you, you go liquid straight from R to L. That's still technically one syllable. Squirrel. It's how, like, same with, like, spice is one syllable. Spice, because it's one vowel cluster. Squirrel. In some places, it's squirrel. That's two syllables, or like squirrel. <laughs> but if you just say squirrel, it's only one syllable. Because a syllable has to contain like a, a vowel uh, morpheme or whatever the term is. I don't know. <laughs> I got a C in that class. I took study of language a year ago, and I got a C. So what, what even am I talking about? Phoneme. I meant phoneme, not morpheme. It's fine. Bum, 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 bum. That says squirrel. That's awesome. <laughs> that makes me really happy. I might start saying that. So you get degrees. Yeah, and it's not even like the thing I'm trying to get a degree in. I was just taking it for credits, so I'm all good. It's more like squirrel. Soft first part. Oh, yeah, squirrel. That's, yeah, I know that's more of like a UK type beat. It also just makes more sense. It's like squirrel. Like looking at how it's spelled is kind of bizarre. Damn it. Damn it. This bitch feisty. I would like to hook some more largemouth bass. I think we could do a better job. Neat. Just like literally died. I gotta stop catching these minnows, man. They're awful cute, but they sell for dirt. Look at that, 500 for that one. 
Well, no, 250 because there's two of them. But only 50 for, for a minnow. Even a carp is worth more. Level up. Level 7 fishing already. Startled by the little bubble noise. La 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 Bang! I'm gonna lean back. I'm farther from my mic now, but I'm also comfortable, so who cares? Audio quality is gonna be buns, but I'm not talking much anyway. Cause I gotta focus so damn much on my fish. Bot is dead. What happened to the robot? Oh no! Thoughts and prayers. Misogyny! <laughs> I love when Twitch does that. Come on, man. Someone said thoughts and prayers. Twitch was like, misogynist in your chat! Watch out! Rest in bot. Rib. La 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 Okay, I gotta eat something after this cast. save time efficient clicks all right I don't know I have a feeling I'm gonna make significantly less money than I thought I would <laughs> today Getting that perfect would have been huge. We are just not hooking largemouth bass anymore. It's real sad. La 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 la. La 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 la. Damn it. Damn it. No perfect. And we got it. We got a large amount of bass and I couldn't perfect it. Is there anything sadder in the whole world than that? No. Well, <laughs> I got my hair cut, as I said at the beginning of the stream this morning. And my hairdresser. I've been going to the same person. The same person has cut my hair since I was three. Um, so I'm very familiar with her. She's very familiar with me. However, she, like, brings up the same few things every time. And she has, like, a streak going of a few topics. 
First of all, usually she talks about, like, do you have a job yet? And for a while, I, I was in, like, eighth grade. And I'd say, like, no. She'd be like, okay. It's like, well, I'm in eighth grade. But now, she said, and, and you have a job, right? And I was like, yeah, I've had the same job for about, like, two and a half years. Which is true. And she said, that's great. You making money? I said, yes. She said, that's great. She said, like, did you buy your own car? And I said, barely. She said, that's great. And then, and then she started talking about, I don't tell her what I do because I don't want to try to explain it. She was like, she went on this tangent and she was like, all the time people come in here and say, oh, I work. And I say, what do you work? And they say, I work from my computer. And I say, loser. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. So obviously, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm a well. So instead, I was just like, yeah. Idiot. Doi. And then later on, we have this street going. There's one fact she knows about me. Uh, and we I've gone there m so many times. We're so familiar with each other. <gasps> Bubbles. Bubbles. I was just thinking to myself, we haven't seen them in a while. Oh my god. Anyway, there's one fact she knows about me. And that is that my dad died of cancer when I was 10. For whatever reason, she has decided to stow this away in her brain. In the same place you would put, like, a favorite color. Because we have a streak alive. I go there, like, twice a year to get my hair cut. Probably more. Every time she brings it up right as I'm leaving. Like, right when she's, she's like, I'm almost done. And she's, like, snipping the little edges. And sure enough, we were so close this time. And then at the end, I was, like, standing up after she finished cutting my hair. And she, she was like, you're tall like your dad. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Here we go. And then she just went, too bad he died, huh? And then cut my hair a few times. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> and then she was like... Already, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to go. She also know her dad? Nope, I don't think they ever met. Um, and <laughs> I don't know how she even found out. And and then she was like, yeah, well, my mom died when I was ten, so I've got no mom. And then cut my hair for a bit, and and then she was like, well, I guess I've got no dad either. And then started laughing. I was like, what is going on? I don't want to be here anymore. It was the most awkward situation I've ever been in. Because she was just laughing. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> and then she was like, all done. And then blasted my ass with a freaking, my face, I should say. I'm used to following up the words blasted with ass. She don't actually blast my ass in the, the hair. Pen. She blasted my face with a hair dryer. I got like my eyelashes melted off. And then she was like, all right, $25. It's like, okay. Maybe you need a different hairdresser. Ah, but she knows how to line up my shit. <laughs> well, I got a second of the same artifact. That blows. These bubbles are putting in severe work. That, like, fish bit before I got the rod in there. I don't know if you saw that. It was so eager. Jumped out of the water. You tell your dad who I have not met. Yeah, she must have. Or something. Because she also does my mom's hair. So maybe, and obviously, that takes way longer. Because it's like a longer process and she gets it dyed and stuff like that. So they have a lot of time to talk. So I'm assuming that's how she knows. But like, man. <laughs> Every time. It's actually crazy. Okay, let me let me eat some of these. I could pass out. I don't know how much money I would lose. Hold on. We're going to research. I need to make sure I'm playing this right. Stardew. How much money do you lose if you pass out 1000 G will be lost you lose 10% of your money caps at a thousand okay so I would lose a thousand gold am I confident that I could make a thousand gold worth of fish in the like in the time it would take me no. Okay. Then we will not be passing out. I'll be leaving at about 
One thing I know about men, they never switch hairdressers. Yeah, I just I don't want to. Because I don't even know how to describe how I want my hair. Because I don't even know how I want my hair. I just let her do whatever and then deal with it. I have extremely straight hair, so it doesn't leave a lot of room for creativity. And I mean, like, like extremely. Like, it's not even, like, the kind of straight hair that, like... Like, you know, like, there's, like, the lacrosse and the hockey fits where their hair kind of curls if it gets long. Mine can't do that. So I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. It's just straight. So I, like, have to keep it short or it's a bowl cut. It's, like, my only choice. So... <laughs> I I just keep it short. But I don't... I don't... Yeah, I don't know. She get a perm. Oh, that, oh, that's terrifying to me, though. Bald? I'm not bald, okay? Shut up. Yeah, I just don't know enough about a hair. I just need to, like, hire... Also, perms are expensive. I just need to, like, hire... Somebody. Like a, like a, like a way you have, like, a house consultant, but for beauty. I just need to hire somebody to come, like, inspect my face and hair. <laughs> and be like, here's what you should be doing. <laughs> to... To achieve, like, maximum hotness. Here's the hair I think you should have. I think you should start, I don't know, doing these teeth whitening strips or whatever. I need one of those people. I'll just, like, walk into a modeling agency and be like, make me beautiful. That is a thing. Okay, direct me to that. <laughs> a stylist. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Personal stylist. Ah, oh, it's expensive, though. Well, whatever. Think about it. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, excuse me, can you make me beautiful? And then be like, well, of course. Teeth buying shoes hurt my teeth so bad. Yeah, I tried once. I already have sensitive teeth, and it just, like, turned it up to a thousand. Can't do it. Really, really does hurt. So yeah, no whitening strips for me, which is a shame because I have pretty yellow teeth, which is a major insecurity of mine. So I'd like to do teeth whitening strips, but they really hurt. So I just can't decide if I'd rather just deal with the pain or just continue to be insecure about my teeth being yellow. It's all the gay people in your life. Well, <laughs> truthfully, there are not that many. I, like obviously on YouTube, it's pretty much exclusively gay people. But, like, in my IRL life, there are not too many. I just did not really happen to go around. That's why, like, a lot of my education in queer culture has come, like, during live streams. Because just, like, it just happened that, like, most of the, the people I grew up around in my, like, circle of friends were straight folks. I don't know why I said were as if they're dead or converted. <laughs> but are straight folks. So, uh, yeah. I've had to kind of jump into the deep end and do my best with this YouTube thing. You start mewing. I'm good. I think I get, I like, I keep looking up what it is and I'm pretty sure I do it naturally. Start mewing. No. <laughs> this is about to make Therm even more of a furry. Is mewing a furry thing or is that just cause it's called mewing? But yeah, every time I've looked up, like, what is mewing, and it, like, gets explained to me. Wow, I have zero energy. I lost track of my energy and went to exactly zero. What a happy accident. Uh, anyway. I think I do it naturally. Because isn't it, like, pressing your, your tongue to your, the roof of your mouth hard enough that it, like, flexes your jaw? Kind of. Tried Bone Smash, which is a real thing. No, but I watched the Curtis Connor video on Looks Maxing, so I have heard of it, unfortunately. Uh, just press the tongue of your mouth. Yeah, it's natural. <laughs> it's just natural I rested anyway. And, like, I don't know. I'm a very fidgety person, and as I've talked before, or I've talked about before, this sounds bad, but you're going to need to give me a chance to defend myself here. A lot of my fidgety nature is kind of circulated around my mouth. And has been since I was a baby. I always was way into the chewing and the sucking. And that sounds bad, but hear me out. I stuck on my shirt all the time growing up. And, like, I, I grind my teeth. I chew on, like, the inside of my gums. So, like that. I'm very chewy. A lot of times, like, my natural fidget when I'm, like, anxious of talking to somebody is I'll be pretending to chew on something. Like, I just, like, recently noticed that I do that. Like, as if I have gum in my mouth, but I don't. 
I'll just be like ghost chewing. <laughs> if I'm like talking to someone and anxious, I'll just be like rotating my teeth around as if I'm chewing something. Um, but yeah. Also, whenever I'm really angry at a game, I've noticed that like biting down on a blanket immediately dissolves all all rage. So my jawline is is okay. <laughs> Cause I like naturally when I was bored in class would like kind of like press my tongue over my mouth and like suck it in like like suction it and it turns out that's a great way to work on your jawline <laughs> but like I don't have a great jawline I feel like I have a very in the like percentile of men's jawlines I think it's around 50 like it's not very defined it's like pretty soft but it's defined enough where from certain angles I look like I have a great jawline especially there's this one picture. That a friend took of me. I have like few pictures of me that I think are good pictures. Um, hold on. I'm gonna email this myself and pull it up on stream. I like have no good pictures of myself like on my phone. But then like my I was talking to my friend. And she's like, well, there's that one picture that of you that freaking rules. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, have I never showed you this? I was like, no. And it was my my friend's friend took it with like a flash disposable camera at a party at the beginning of the semester and I just never saw it because like those pictures were never sent to me and she was like dude this is like the best picture of you that exists I was like really let me uh pull this up okay um let's see Look at this picture. I look great in this picture. Let me zoom it out. This is like the first picture I've ever seen where I actually look like good. <laughs> so I was like, send that to me. And it's because it's something about the, the angle the camera is taking from. Look at my jawline. It's like pretty good. This is so embarrassing that I'm doing this on a live stream. But I don't know. It, it's pertinent <laughs> to the discussion. But yeah, like, and look, this is my own shirt. <laughs> a house like this is the most badass picture I own because not only is it the first time I've ever pulled off a not smile picture but also I've got like my own shirt going on how tough is that you look excellent do look excellent it makes me look tall and broad shouldered yeah I'm like wire thin it's something about the angle I don't know person who took this picture did an amazing job you can turn to talk to arf 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 <laughs> You look like a sad puppy if they slayed. A sluppy? You should get an al you should get an eyebrow piercing. I'm good, man. That sounds painful. Um album cover. I want to change my profile picture for my Spotify to this. Cuz it's just a picture of my face right now, but this is like a way better one. You should do an eyebrow slit. What is that? Is that just like you shave a little slit out of your eyebrow? Not very painful, actually. Earlobe hurts more. Yeah, I'm not huge into piercings. If I did any kind of piercing, it would just be earlobe. He looks so American. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, now I'm looking up eyebrow slit. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like you have to have a certain degree of hotness to pull that off. Whoa. <laughs> Nothing against this person. That, like, stare. Jesus. Hello. That is a straight on, st I, I, like, wow. Just staring right at me. Depth of those dimples. I was about to say, it is, it's like a Tesla logo. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. Anyway, you be girl boss and eyebrow slit. The fade. Get a low taper fade. <laughs> I'm not getting a low taper fade. Thank you, team, for saying slay when I pulled up a picture of myself. How do you have 11,000 unread emails? I don't read them because <laughs> they're mostly spam and I keep forgetting to unsubscribe. So I don't want to. Um, 
I should pull off not smiling. I can't. That's why that picture is so special. It's the only time it's ever happened. Okay. Anyway. Thermos is a personal stylist and it's us. I don't know if I trust y'all. Because I feel like we have very different aesthetics. You and I. Plus, I don't trust you on anything anyway. So. No. Oh. Um, yeah, piercings is a, is a scary concept. I would probably not get any. Though I might have to if I if I really... Because I'm going to have to lean into... We're slowly approaching that 500k mark. And I did promise I'd dye my hair purple. I'm really dreading it. So, I might just lean all the way in when I dye my hair purple. And just, like, within that week, like, also get a tattoo. <laughs> and, like, also pierce my ears. And just end up looking like... A trashy little boy. Figure it out. With time, my friends. With time. Can I always take it back? No. I would lose all respect for myself if I did. Puff it. Okay, about an hour left until I'm going to want to head back. These bubbles stuck around, dude. So huge. Alright, I'm pulling for a big money day here today. Alright, what do we got? Money. God damn it. 17. Oops, too far. No, we stuck it in there. Damn it! Must be fast. I was just getting a tattoo. Well, I've always wanted a tattoo. But the problem is, here's my main issue with the tattoo thing. I would want it on my arm. I would want it on my upper arm. Uh, like right kind of, if you wear, so like if I wore a t-shirt, it would cover like half of it. You know what I mean? Like I would want it there, like kind of like bicep area. Um, like halfway up a t-shirt. Do you feel me? Probably. Here's the problem. My arms are so weak and sad. My arms are incredibly skinny. And I've been going to the gym very frequently. Trying to like get bigger arms. And so my fear is that I'd get a tattoo there. And like 10 years from now, I finally succeed in getting bigger arms. And then it would like stretch it out. And it would get all warped. Because my arms are so skinny right now. Like, so would that be a bad idea? But like that's where I want it. <laughs> Also, odds are I will never be able to have big arms. I think I'm just genetically screwed, so I should be fine. But I'm really trying. Very obscure problem. I think it's a normal and cool problem. Oh, I need to leave. So we shouldn't get buffed now. I'm trying, man! It's a really slow process. Especially for someone of my genetic pool. I don't know if that's how it works. I had to research it. Yeah. Or I'll just, like, actually, like, I'm screwed. And I'm going to pass out on the way home. Or I'm just gonna like walk into like a tattoo parlor and be like, excuse me. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm being honest. I'm doing it all right now. I'm like doing like a very high calorie, high protein diet, going to the gym. I'm doing the right exercises. I'm trying. I'm trying to specifically bulk because how skinny I am. Not even just like, like I actually just. Damn it, dude. I'm gonna pass out. That sucks. If I can get inside my house, I won't lose the money. Ah! Son of a bitch! Hey! <laughs> That's a good bit of cash. No! Happy birthday, Al Gore. <laughs> Why are we talking about... Is it Al Gore's birthday? When was Al Gore born? Pause. 
Al Gore, former Vice President of the United States. March 31st. Almost. No, I literally lied. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you got me. Um, all right, well, we're up to 27K, and the issue is, this is what crushes me. I didn't have time to actually bin my fish, so I can't tell how dire our money situation is. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it manually. All right. Where's my calculator? I have my TI-84 right here. Okay, let's see. We've got 154 plus 100... Plus 935 plus a thousand plus 504 plus 1122 plus 525. Anyway, point is, I want a tattoo <laughs> plus 1023 plus 116 plus 92 plus. 124 plus 111 plus 980 plus 500 plus 222 plus 279. Okay. And I'll sell my... No, I should keep those. That is a grand total of 7,787 gold. So... That plus the 27 248 I have right now. But is that the 35 we need? The problem is to get all the coal that I need from Clint today, that costs 7,500. Okay, so we should be coming. <laughs> we should be able to just make it. I have control over my emotions. Calculator always on desk with the same TI for 18 years. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, Algo. <laughs> Is that why someone said it's Al Gore's birthday? I should have guessed. Thanks for tuning in. I'm a number cruncher. Always have been. I knew from the second I curb stomped my classmates in the mad minute in third grade. That's not true. I always panicked and then sucked and then cried. Okay, now. Let's go to work. To the left. Take it back now, yo. Okay, 31. So we need 19 iron bars. 19. We've got 8 here. So we can go ahead and stock up. And that'll put us at 16. So then we'll just need 3 more. And then the rest will be quartz. And then we'll just need to buy like 50 coal. So, Jesus lord. Okay, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Now, no, 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 no. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna buy all the coal I need. Okay. Smelting's gonna be tough. We're gonna have to do that while we plant tomorrow. And we can we have we can like lose a day on on the blueberries because they they're not like as strict as the other crops where you gotta get them in and watered on day one. Now, the question. The question is thus. Do we risk it and try to do the catfish fishing and trust that that might get me more money than just a day of lake fishing? Because I can't trust that a day of lake fishing will get me as much money as that last one did because I had those bubbles the whole day, which I probably won't again. Risky for the biscuit? Now you're speaking my language. We're doing it. Plus, I'll be in the uh, neighborhood of Clint's anyway. I've got my five leaks. This is it, y'all. Okay. We're going to go back to what I was talking about earlier. I want a tattoo, and I want it to be of crows. I want two crows uh, flying about on my right bicep region. But again, trouble is, I'm skinny, I'm weak, I'm kind of genetically screwed in the gym, but I'm going to the gym so frequently, and I'm doing a bulking diet. I'm doing everything I possibly can to bulk up, and it's not really working. I'm scared that it will work given like 10 years. Okay. Let's just go ahead and start fishing while I wait for Clint to open. Um, I'm scared that it will work in like 10 years, and then I'll have this warped freaking tattoo. So I'm going to ask a tattoo artist about it. Catfish already. Next topic. Piercing. 
Eyebrow piercing scares me. Nothing truly scares me more than like a tongue piercing or something crazy like that. But even just pierced ears, I don't know. I don't know if I could rock any kind of piercing. And if I did get a piercing, I don't know what kind of earrings I could rock. What do y'all think? What kind of earrings would look good on me? Here, I can pull that picture of me up again. <laughs> so you have a reference. Two casts, two catfish is awesome. How much are catfish worth? Hefty bit. That's good. Okay. Um, here we go. I'm pulling the. I'm pulling it back up. That's me. Okay. I'm gonna fish for a little bit while you guys look at me and decide what earrings would look best. Okay. <laughs> Probably just normal studs. Small cubic zirconium rock. Holy shit. Mathematician over here. Spectacular vernacular. Nothing. Someone said nothing. I respect your opinion. Some people did say that. Nose ring looks good on everyone. I actually disagree. That's like a personal thing. A little dangle. Wow, everybody likes the idea of a nose ring. Holy shit. I'm going to have to run that by my compatriots. You have the face for a nose ring. Cool. Before this day is over, I want a perfect catfish. I don't think I'll be able to, but I want to. Okay, I'm going to put the picture away after I catch this catfish. Bottom line goals, I don't want to lose a single catfish today. I want to catch them all. That one was a, a battle. Okay, putting the picture away. Getting water, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and see what y'all have to say. Advice. Okay. Uh, got a lot, lot in chat. So much. A helix. What is a helix? I'm looking this up. Hold on. Helix earrings. Oh, that. Those are pretty cool. They also look like they hurt. Uh, cement toast crunch earrings. Hoops? Uh, no. Simple studs would be good. I had a single ear pierced and it wasn't too bad. Cleaning was fine. And it healed over not too long after I stopped wearing earrings. Silver studs. Conch. Nose ring looks good on everybody. Therm, get a septum. Get a septum. Black studs or the small hoops. Little dangle. Dangle could be cool, like those little dagger earrings. You could rock a lip or nose piercing. Christ. Uh, nose ring. <laughs> studs. Black studs on the ears, the move. Nose piercing would be awesome. Uh, eyebrow piercings on my to-do list. You have the face for a nose ring. I'm biased. I have two nose rings. Studs. Uh, what's the hit against the nose ring? You, you have the face for a nose ring. Don't do the thing, guys, where they only get one ear pierced. Right after death, I got one ear pierced. <laughs> Wear a fake septum before you do, because I want to try it and realize like, can I cannot handle the stimuli. Yeah, I couldn't handle it. I can't handle anything near my nose. I have too many sinus issues. I don't think I'd be able to handle a nose ring. I'm going to go ahead and say that. There's not a single day where I don't have to blow my nose every five seconds. And that thought of blowing my nose with a nose ring is one of the most horrific thoughts in my life. Uh, like I, I could ever think of. Ever. Okay. There's a lot to catch up on. Pain and free swag is forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm much, I'm, I'm, I'm a comfort over beauty kind of guy. Uh, what is a, uh, what was that one? Conch earrings. He likes like those little rings like in the ear. Oh Christ. That's so scary. That was like, oh, it's. That's 
Not a good first name piercing. Yeah, okay. Take away his black studs. Thank you all for your input. Appreciate you. Okay. Back to work. See, this is why I'm worried about river fishing. Fishing for catfish is how much trash there is in here. Is there a better spot to fish, maybe? Okay, hold on. Let's go buy our coal, and then I'm going to look up the best river spot. I don't know if there's somewhere you can get the river fishing pool, but get deep water. Okay, hold on. All right. Pause. Google. Stardew Valley. Best river fishing spot. Best place to go river fishing is south of Marnie's farm. The lake near Marnie's great. You can reach deep water fish. But are there catfish out there? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push it. We're gonna go to Marnie's. Today's all about risky for the biscuit. Anywhere we can reach deep water. Thank you all for your time. Oh wait, there's some deep water. Here we go. Can I reach it? Yes. All right, that's huge. Then this is where we're going to be fishing. Anywhere I can reach deep water. That'll give us higher quality, less trash. All kinds of good juice. Boom. Oh, and that just increased my cast distance. So we're so good now. All right, do our best today. Plus now I get to see my own reflection while I'm fishing and I couldn't at the lake where I was fishing. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose a catfish. Like I said, I didn't want to. Oh, it's putting me in the baby blender. Yep, I, I know what you're doing before I even do it. This is the last piece of bait. Oh shit, I didn't account for that. Oh no. I'm gonna have to run home and grab bait. I forgot to bring bug meat with me. Oh god. Alright, yeah. It will as annoying as it is, that will technically save time to do that. Okay, we gotta run home, grab bug meat, come back. That might have just kind of sealed the deal, unfortunately. This works out nicely because I can go ahead and uh, get some stuff in the cooker. So it works out fine. Okay. We're fine. We're going to try right here. I didn't get all the way to the water. It's fine. Mm. 
Yay. Damn. Now it's going to go back up all right when I get you up to it, you turd. One bait and six rocks. Thanks, pal. Come on, man. Gotta get, start getting some valuables in these chests. Okay. All's well now. I just noticed for some reason the bobber is layered behind that pink tree back there. You can see when I cast it for that the bobber like goes behind the tree for some reason. It's like the like layering is done wrong. Damn, this is the feistiest catfish there's ever been. We just barely missed out on, on losing it. Job's not finished though. Wow, I'm so embarrassed. I just accidentally quoted Kobe Bryant trying to catch a fish in Stardew Valley. Jesus Christ. There we go. Um, I was just thinking about something or was gonna do something. Oh yeah, I was gonna check. I actually don't know how valuable shad are. We've been catching a lot of shad. Like, pretty easy to cast. They're not worth that much, probably. But I'm getting perfect on them every time, so they're definitely all, like, iridium quality. Ah, uh, I thought it was going to go right back down. I could use that bounce back. Okay. Let me check. So, catfish, obviously. Um, quite good. That's already $1,000 worth of fish. Shad aren't too bad, honestly. Not great, but not too bad either. Plus, now that we leveled up, we're getting gold instead of silver. Hey! Damn it. Yeah. I should hire a stylist. <laughs> I just don't know much about like anything style or fashion or anything. So just for, I've been autopiloting in life for a while in both clothing and all things, all things style. So I should just get somebody back. Like, what should I wear and what should make my hair look like? Whatever. The least toxic men have no idea what fashion is. Hooray! Just want someone to tell me how to look. Exactly. I'm too scared to, or not scared. I'm too lazy to figure out for myself like what I should wear. Andy! That guy has no idea anything about fashion. Look at what he's wearing. So he can't be toxic. Yay! We should all be more like Andy and wear like shitty overalls. Actually, this is an outfit. The outfit Andy's wearing. This is a great example of an outfit that looks like 
tired and and trashy on like an old southern man like shitty overalls where one of the straps isn't put on all the way but would absolutely be like trendy as fuck for like a like a gay dude my age to wear you know what i'm talking about like that specific like pattern of overall like an overall i think i've i've seen multiple like gay dudes wearing that exact outfit in my like physics lab the like like an overall, but one of the straps is like not on. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think Andy actually gets it. The hat kind of ruins it, but like. Yeah. Andy's unaware of his own homosexuality. Yeah, what a shame that we can't marry him. Because I would love to make him acutely aware of that side of him. That was weird. That's a weird thing to say about a stranger. Do you know if there's a mod that, that lets me do that? <laughs> Is there a mod that makes Andy a bachelor? Andy is like Applejack if she was a human man. Like the cereal thing? The fuck? Which one? The apple? <laughs> or the cinnamon stick? The pony. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, my fault. It's the pony. No, the pony, you imbecile. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Hello, man. I've seen one episode of My Little Pony, and it was while I was sidetracked playing some of my laptop. It was on the TV. I wasn't paying attention. I know there's the purple one. Spike is the dragon's name in Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. And, uh, rarity. <laughs> the purple one's name evades me. And then I guess Applejack, who I forgot was in that show. They don't market her very much, do they? Oh, shit. Balls. Balls. Oh, my God. Please, no. Twilight Sparkle. Thank you, team. This is why I keep you around. Uh, a book, a geode, and two copper ore. These treasure chests have been farts. I gotta say. You give Spike vibes. Is that good? How does the... Uh, my little pony community... Pony called Cheese Sandwich. That I am familiar with. Um, what is the My Little Pony Community's uh, outlook on Spike the Dragon? <laughs> Yay, nay. He's a dragon, right? It looks like a little dragon to me. Yeah. He's cool and we love him. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's another 750. He's a Chad. I don't know, man. I've seen him. <laughs> He's pretty... I don't know if Chad is a good description. He's like 99% head. And he's got a very weak chin. <laughs> He gets really hench at the end. That's a new word. Google. Okay, well, now I have a lot to Google. First of all. Hench. Of a man. Having a body that looks big, strong, and well-shaped. If he's done a lot of exercise. I see, so it's basically just like buff. I've never heard hench before. I've not heard hench. I mean, he gets really... Does, does Spike actually, like, get buff over time? Is that like a real aspect of the show? Do they, is is that the first show? <laughs> Time out. I just unironically tried to search Spike and searched Spank. I was like talking at the same time. <laughs> no, that just happens right at the end. 
in the final episode. In all our episodes, he's a tiny baby. Okay. Uh, Spike. Uh, my little pony. Yeah, see, like... Oh, is this him? Okay, yeah. This guy, this guy lifts. Damn, that's crazy. So that, like, only happens at the very end? Or is it, like, over time? How to draw Spike, says this person. Damn, he actually, yeah, he got a chin. Good for him. That's a really, wow, that's a hell of a jawline. All right, I respect you, Spike. Literally last episode. Did they do, like, a time skip? I see. Okay, well... Cool. Good for you, Spike. Oops. I'm, I'm not doing that on purpose, I promise. Let's gotta close the tab. Uh, yeah, good for good for him. He mewed. Anyway. <laughs> what are you vision for? Uh, money, desperately. I need to raise, like, a lot of cash between today and tomorrow. So, I'm going for... I feel sluggish from overexertion. I wasn't looking at my... That's fine. It actually doesn't matter that much. I'll eat enough to not get slowed, and then I'll have an energy penalty tomorrow, but it won't matter. I have enough forageables so I can just get it back. It's fine. No sweat, team. There exists a uh, My Little Pony Sona out there of uh, of of not only me. There are there exists out there three pony sonas that I know of. One of my YouTube character that I've seen. One of specifically my Roblox guy, Yamami Boner. The, the, like, really, really huge dude with the pink bob. Uh, there's a My Little Pony Sona of Yamami Boner. There's a My Little Pony Sona of my YouTube character. And there exists a My Little Pony Sona of just me as a human person. Because my friend in real life a few months ago, or I guess one month ago, just about, just suddenly we were talking about, like, that shot because My Little Pony was on, so it was a topic of discussion. And then she just suddenly was like, WAIT! And like texted her friend <laughs> and asked them, because they're like a, they're like an artist, and asked them to make me a pony Sona. And then they did. And so now I have three. I have three My Little Pony Sonas. I have three times as many pony Sonas as I have watched episodes of My Little Pony. <laughs> I need to see this. Uh, I don't know where it is, but I can, I can probably dig up. The first two are somewhere in the fan art Discord channel. The Yamami Boner and the Therm one. They're somewhere. Somewhere on the... Oops, shit. Somewhere on the... Uh, Therm Discord thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. That was nice, the way the treasure happened naturally. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice, dude. These treasure chests blow! Important question, has he done the furry commission thing yet? It's, it's in progress. It's in progress. Okay, it's, we're getting there. Those of you who are confused, I'm not explaining to you. You'll understand with time. Please be patient. Oops. Okay. 850. We've got time. I'd be so proud of myself if I can pull all this together miraculously. Oh my god, really? I 
think I clicked way sooner than it actually had my guy do that animation. Whatever. Cannot afford to lose time like that. Catfish dream is dead. Hey, remember when y'all said, uh, but can you trust that you'll be good enough at fishing to catch catfish reliably? Have you noticed that we haven't missed one? How about it? I'm so much better than everybody else out there. No one else in the game is doing this. Oh my god. Do you think you'll be able to catch all the catfish without missing one? Yeah, probably. I'm only the best to ever do it. What time is it? 10 p.m.? <laughs> Child's play. Yeah, Kenna, you always trusted me. That's why you're, you're one of the good eggs. Kenna likes pizza. Oh shit. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get put on a stretcher after that whole tangent. Have mercy. Son of a bitch! Oh no! There we go. Now I'm in a flow state. Yum! What happened? It just deleted it. Did anyone see that? What the hell? <laughs> Where did it go? Did it actually go into my inventory? Or did it actually just delete it? That sucks. What the fuck? That's fine. There better be like generational wealth in this treasure chest to reward me for that. Honestly, yeah, that's huge. That is among among us almost said among us dude remember that remember does anyone remember among us hey you guys remember among us i'm kind of glad that's that's dead not the game the game was unironically fun the among us memes made me want to put a fork in my eye and twist did i miss a raid i did thank you so much i'm so sorry i didn't give that the attention it deserved I was really focused. Thank you. If you're still around, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the raid. I'm so sorry. Usually I uh, say hello and thank you when you hop in, but I was so focused on my fish. Uh, all right. I've got more time. I want you to scream out catfish. Yeah. Happens. There's Shane. Hey y'all, how funny would it be if I, I turned around and when, when he was expecting him and pushed him into a puddle? Do you guys think that would just make his day? These catfish alone sell for 3k. Holy gosh. I think so. I would raffle. Thanks guys. It's getting late. Yeah, whatever. Oh my god. Can we get one more fish before I leave, please? I know I'm starting to feel exhausted. One more fish, man. Not hard. Been doing it all day. Come on. I'm gonna pass out again. Yeah. Just like like divine intervention there at the end. That is absurd. The longest cast I've literally ever seen with a baited rod. And then three straight allergies. Cool. Alright, will it be enough? That's the question. 
Will it be enough to afford all the seeds I need tomorrow? Will it be enough? My brain is telling me no. Okay, let me bin all these. Time pauses when you're in the bin screen, right? Probably. Uh, I don't want this. Sell that. Sell these. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Good night, Oat, Oat Walker. Is that your name, Oat Walker? Lovely fishing. Moment of truth. That's a lot of cash, man. That's a lot of cash. It's a lot of cash. I think we did it. I think we pulled it off. Wow, that is, I found myself on Friday, the 26th of spring, needing to somehow both raise 20,000 gold and gather 50 coal in two days. And we did it. You can talk all you want about elite. That's it right there. In our time at Stardew Valley. Jojo has made an effort to become a contributing member of the community. But we can't do it without your help. If you choose to shop at Jojo competitors such as Pierre's General Store, you won't have the same assurance of quality and consistency. Without your business, we won't be able to afford to contribute as much as we'd like to to local charities. Shop at Jojo Mart and keep your community great. Jojo Mart, we value your business. Okay. Only reason I would ever go there is to see my girl Claire. What's up, boo? Oh, Walker, right? Oh, Walker. Okay, lots to do today. First things first. Uh, need to get my tools. Pickaxe, axe, scythe, hoe. And we'll get a watering can for giggles. Get something for energy as well. Uh, we got 14 spring onions. That, that should do it. There we go. 50. We're going for 50 quality sprinklers here. It's a big ask, but I think we can do it. I think we can. Now. Let's do it. All right, let me go ahead and move these, and then we're gonna work on our layout. Happy summer, by the way. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's make as many as we can for now. 14. I'd like to have a little gap here as for aesthetic reasons. So I'm gonna do one here and then we're gonna do one down here. And then I'll probably, yeah. Uh, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it up here. Cause I don't want it to be like an even pattern. I kind of like the like uneven type beat. Can you hoe this spot? Yes. Stupendous. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. One there. One there as well. All these spots are hoeable, I presume. Yeah. So is that. And we could break that tree, but I, do, I really don't want to. So we won't. Um, there we go. There we go. And this is how we're going to line it up. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because I want to... We should go right to left. I want to slide over here. And do it there. And then I can... Put this guy... Uh, like right... Right here. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, that I like. And now here's the issue. It's not an issue. There's no issue. I'm creating issues for attention. We'll just put this here like I was thinking about doing anyway. Um, yeah. 
There we go. That's already a bunch. And let's start hoeing. My chief concern for today is energy. Because I don't know if we're going to have enough energy replenishing stuff because of how much we went through fishing. No. There we go. Okay. Um, and then... I like this quite a bit, this layout I've got here. I like the uneven. A lot of people are probably going to think it's ugly, but I, I like it. I actually really do. Thermy got me saying stupendous in real life. Mwah. Let's kiss through the mic. All right. Okay. Let's go buy our seeds. We have 400 spaces here. Timing's gonna be tough. We're gonna have to get that refined quartz out the second it's ready every time. Here's the thing. 400 spaces. We've already got 9 melon seeds. I like to plant a good bit of melon. So we can try and go for that 5 gold. We're gonna reserve. We need... For summer crops. Tomato, hot pepper, blueberry. We'll have plenty of plenty of melons. Um, bunch more melons for that. We could also plant corn technically, but I'm gonna wait until fall. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So we're gonna do I think we're gonna make maybe forty spaces for melon. Fountain is stunning today. We'll watch this cutscene. This is stunning, isn't it? Hello! Hi, Ickle. Sorry, I'm eating fries. The weather's astonishing, wouldn't you say? It's fine. Do you know this fountain is 30 years old? It's maintained and repaired by a technician from Grampleton. Okay. Are you making progress cultivating your farm? I haven't visited since you allowed me to set my experiment in the cave, which I'm still thankful for. Uh, I'm going to construct buildings in my farm. Looking to crafting speakers to automate watering. Yeah, he'd like that. That's a smart idea. Automating the process should save you time. It's true. Glad you're doing fine here in Stardew Valley. Owning a farm is a lot of work. It may be overwhelming at times. How would you know? You fuck. Speaking of Stardew Valley. Do you know where our valley gets its name? Good start, dude. Oh, even space stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you tried to guess at least, Ickle. Thanks, Boo. It's because of star drops. Thousand years ago, a huge meteor shower periodically bombarded the specific area of the Ferngill Republic. Of course, back then, the Republic didn't exist yet. Meteors were so plentiful that their trails looked like fibers stretched across the sky. Meteorites looked like tiny drops in, on the trails, like morning dew on a spider web. So our ancestors called these showers the silk dew of stars. When the Ferngill Republic was first established 50 years, 150 years ago, the admission union named this valley Stardew in honor of our ancestors. Have you ever wondered why your crops are always healthy? Why they so easily bear high quality produce? It's because of the meteor shower. Soil in the valley is extremely fertile. It has an abundance of nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Also a high concentration of mineral. Dude, I don't care. Sorry. Thanks. I'm, the bottom is true, but... Happy you know more about the valley and where you live. Well, I know where you live, so... Oh, look at the time. Didn't mean to keep you for so long. <sighs> okay. Thanks, though. That was cute. That was a cute cutscene. I liked it. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. Huge fan. Okay. Now... One pepper, one blueberry, one tomato. Anything else I might need for community center? Wheat for the fodder's bundle. Could do. Could go ahead and do. Um, 
We don't need this for community center anymore. Yeah. I think we're squared. I think we'll do the wheat and fall. So now we're going to do 40 melons, I suppose. Um, or let's do 37. So. We need 28. There you go. Okay, that leaves us with 360 blueberries that we need. And 7k to spare. Wow. I'm awesome. Right, 37. I just want all of my not blueberry things to... It's like stupid and specific, but I'd, li I'd like all my non-blueberry crops to take up like whole sprinkler amounts. So I want it to be a multiple of eight. <laughs> so it's 37 plus these three is 40. Just so I can have five, a little set of five sprinklers that is like set aside for my special crops. Okay. Um, I'm going to put those up here. I shouldn't have done it. Because now I'm going to have to run through a plant to get to my furnaces. That is a misstep. Whoops. Whoops. It's being stupid. Okay, it's already 1.30 and we have a lot to do. Harvest your quartz. I do need to do that. God, you're so smart. Okay, shit. There's so much to keep track of today. <laughs> Jesus. I love the asymmetry. Yeah, I hate that I kind of just destroyed it by sliding everything over. So I'm probably going to go ahead and reestablish it. Even though it's a waste of energy for something so pedantic. Uh, but also, shut up, it's my farm. Um, how about them apples? Okay. There we are. Now. We're going to need a little scarecrow for this region alone. So I'll make that right now before I forget. See, look at that. Perfect. Puff it! Okay, I have the coal on me. Need some more wood and fiber. Okay. There we go. Okay, so those are my little special crops. And I'm going to add like an extra fence here. And then a little path here. It's going to look lovely. Sorry, I popped off a little bit there. Okay, now. Another 11 sprinklers to work with here. Um, that little gap is where we're going to put a scarecrow. Uh, we have two gaps now. Uh-oh. Then I'll probably... I'm not allowed to... Oh, this wasn't close enough. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I wanted to have, like, a kind of uneven field because I think it looks nice. But I really worked myself into a corner here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um Yeah. Yeah. This is trouble. Okay, then we're gonna That's fine, and then we just won't have one up there. Doesn't matter. Oh, but I did really like having one here. Okay, hold on. No, we're gonna do it. Um, yeah, I'll just have this whack little gap here. Uh. Oh no. Okay, hold on. I need to hold, let me hold a sprinkler so I can like see all my lineups. So I could, if I slid everything up, then that would go there and then I could slide one in there. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. I want it to be uneven down there. I really do, but it is not in the cards. If we want to get max efficiency out of all our sprinklers, which I really do. Okay. Now, here's where, honestly, I could just not get max efficiency out of a few sprinklers if I really wanted. Because right now, I, like, I, now I have this whack little area here. It can have like a scarecrow there and then like a, a light in there. Um, plus, now I have the ability to, to slide some more sprinklers in there okay we'll have plenty of time um there we go and then i can kind of like and then have like a little path down here. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Uh, and then I can put in some over here and that'll kind of like pepper that side. Yeah. That'll do. Okay, let's go ahead and start hoeing. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to be really... My quartz is done. If I have to pass out today, so be it. I have to be really careful about not accidentally hoeing spots that can't hold plants so I don't end up planting shit. where I don't. Yeah, I'm just tired of like every Stardew Valley farm I've ever done, I end up with uh, like a big rectangle. There we go. Uh, yeah, I end up with a big rectangle and I'm so bored of that. later because for now I just need to focus on it. Hello? I'm fucked Not only in a time sense, but especially in an energy sense. Because I don't need to get them all planted. We have extra days at the end of summer where we don't get harvests. So I'll just re-till and water any spaces that don't stay overnight tomorrow. And then plant them tomorrow and it'll work just fine. It's My problem is more with just energy, man. I like 
just chewed through all my energy stuff over the last few days. Okay. Out of coal. That's it. All right. Well, we have all our sprinklers crafted. We, we succeeded in our primary goal of crafting 50, 50 sprinklers. <laughs> and for that, I am proud. Oops. Okay. Any spots not watered? These three. Okay. So that's, that's our, this little cutout is going to drive me freaking crazy. Because we'll have a scarecrow in there and that's fine. We might throw some trees up as well. Actually, that could totally work just fine. Yep. All right. Now we hoe as many spots as we can before it's nighttime. Well, it's very much nighttime. Before it's like pass out time. <laughs> I think this summer I'm just going to do like a casual playthrough, I think. Because like I usually like bust my ass every time, but it's been a while since I just like played to play. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. I exhausted myself. Read the bar, man. It's down there for convenience. Ugh. All right. Well, uh, let me eat my algae. We have a little time. I can get a few more spots taken care of. Nope, that's a no-go. 1 a.m. Alright, well... Gave it my very best, and I'm honestly proud of how much I was able to accomplish. Almost able to do it all. All right, and we'll reho everything tomorrow that, that doesn't last. Water anything that didn't last. Get our plants in the ground. Oh, man. Okay. Um, more, more remain than I thought would. say some probably went away behind these trees that I wouldn't be able to see just a screw in me oh god look at my energy man we're going foraging today <laughs> after I finish my little tasks all right I need to go get something to eat How many sprinklers was I able to make in my uh, perfection one on the first summer? Probably more because I think I also reused these ones. And this time I just don't want to do that because it's annoying and ugly. Uh, let's see. I could go through some of my horseradishes, but they're so inefficient for energy. It's crazy. It's kind of my only option. Wow. Today's stream was a grind. <laughs> it's actually crazy how much 
grinding there was. I'm gonna check Twitter really fast, see if I missed any baseball news. Nothing. Oh, Marcelo Meyer hit a double. Okay. Nothing important. Okay, I think we're good. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. You son of a bitch. There's literally two spots left. This looks like hell on earth. I really wanted this like uneven look, but this giant slice in the middle is making me want to die. But it's fine. I think if we put some trees along there and and, and uh, 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 scarecrow, it'll look like we're working around the land, which I dig. Okay, let's check if any hoed spots are not hooked up to sprinklers, or if any sprinkler spots are not hoed. Nope, we did it. Holy smokes. Okay, let's go. Hello. Moosh, man. We're gonna be raking it in soon enough. All right, mark my worms, mark them. I told y'all we are fracturing the economy of Pelican Town. That's what's gonna happen. Like it just is. Perfect counting. Oh! <laughs> okay. Now, scarecrows. This is tricky. Those are all covered. We were going to have one here. That was something that I knew from the start. How many can I make? None because I'm out of coal. Balls. All right, I'm going to have to go find some rocks on my farm and break them and hope for coal. Son of a biscuit. Oh. Oh, I have cave carrots. Two. You eat both of those. I'm sure I'll find one more for the community center pretty easily. All right. Now, 
I am praying for some of these rocks to drop coal. I need a couple too. Even just one won't do it. Oh lord, please. Please don't do it to me. Please don't do it to me. I just need a couple. Oh no. Oh, that whole game lagged. Oh no. Really? You're not gonna give me one? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're maybe go buy some? You turd. Wow. It's gonna make me go buy some. That is really just an awful shame. There's one. We got one. I would I, I I need more than one, but I suppose one is better than none. You have a small rock cave on your farm. Where? Where? Oh wait, there's more rocks right here. There's another one. That's huge. And there's another one. That's actually probably enough. Okay, because we're gonna need probably at least two. Alright, we've got field alpha covered. Field beta. Which is our, our our biggest one. Needs one in the southern quadrant. Needs two even. Okay. Well, this one can go here. And then... If we can get one that covers both this uncovered portion and... Yeah, there it is. Um, and then last one. We got just enough coal. bastard dang cuz yeah I want like that is so annoying I want it to go right here because I, I want to be able to have a path in between it and my crops we're gonna put it here it has there's one uncovered blueberry that I think I can cover by moving this one space to the left yes look at that done every plants covered Wait, are my ancient fruits covered? Oh, this one definitely covers them, right? Yeah, barely. Wow, wow, wow. We did it! All right, today will now be beautification. Gathering all my resources, all of it, my paths, everything. How do these gravel paths look as just like one strip? Like if it was lining this area. I can't tell if I like it or not. I think I do. I'm probably gonna ditch these ones, these hard stone paths. I'm probably gonna ditch these. I don't know. We need something more rustic. I think you're right. And I'm gonna pass out again. This is so annoying. I need to like get a hefty amount of forageables here. Let me make some field snakes. Uh, pardon me. I was trying to tell if I like it. Yeah, I really can't. It's too rectangular for the field shape. That's that's what I'm feeling myself. Um. That's the thing. Like all the all the paths in this game are so rectangular except these, which I'm already using for this like cut through. And I feel like it would kind of look weird to also use it for these. Do you water the ancient seeds? No. Don't do that. Hmm. Mixing gravel and dirt. I don't think that would work because one gravel path by itself looks like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
You should put a well in that little spot. You can fit one. That's a great shout. Are wells like a three by three rectangle that they need, or is it like three by two? Three by three, I think. Okay. Y'all, I know I killed a blueberry. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now in my life. Uh, then I think what I might do, honestly, because I do like the idea of having like a well right here, about, or actually, no, that's 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 what we're doing. A well. Like, kind of a central well that you like have to like that the path like curves around. That's that's what this needs. So I'm imagining like a well, like right here. And this three by three, and it kind of the path like goes around it on both sides, and then keeps going down. And then we still have this ugly ass strip to figure out that we're just gonna put a bunch of grass in and grow some trees. I guess I should go ahead and plant some trees there. I need to pet my dog. It saved the like cobble paths around. The thing is though, this is what's killing me is that for the most part, I don't really want to have any of these kind of like more structural paths on this farm. Cause I think like the way the line at, like the layout looks, it's like very much natural. And it already has these kind of like dirt paths that like lead places. So I feel like I was already anyway considering, um, just destroying these anyway. Okay, right, yeah, okay. Um, I was already considering anyway destroying these like hard stone ones. But then like any kind of path would look bad because it would just come from nothing. So this is, yeah. What I might do is just not have any paths in these sections and fill it with grass. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do done okay yeah final answer um all right let's get some more of these do i have any more uh no i have to make it more okay It's, there's gonna be more like curvy swervies. So like this can have something in it eventually because we're gonna have a well here and that's great. And this is all gonna be grass. Um, I'm gonna want a bunch of bee houses eventually. Drink. I, I do want to go ahead and start building a well, maybe tomorrow in this spot. Because we have a lot of time now while these grow, and I'd like to just take some time to get my farm sorted. So that's probably what I'll do. Because then I'm going to... Did not want to... Okay. 
Yeah, so it can like wrap around like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make some fences. Okay, and then it's gonna, there we go. It'll go to like about that far down. Um, so, this is my little crop field. This jet out looks bad. I want to, that's a little too much on the side of the kind of like unevenness. Okay, um, I like that. And these, these are growing on me, so we're going to keep them. Wait, do I have any more? Just lying around of, uh, no. Okay. On the bright side, I have plenty of stone now. Why not fill that in? Um. put some cute decorative thing over there. Um, or we can... I want this back, please. Or we can... Uh, God damn it. Or we can just fill it in, which I might just go ahead and do. For now, at least. Um, I'm also going to put a little row of fences here because I think it's cute. I want to connect it to the to the house, but we've got these ugly ass ancient fruit things going, and I can't even because Robin has to get over there sometimes. Um, this is coming together, I think, bit by bit. I think tomorrow we buy a bunch of grass star with all our remaining cash. Terrible purchase, uh, but it'll look really pretty. Um, and then we can like, I don't know, it'll look awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and even though technically we don't need fences down here, um, I think it'll look nice. Yeah, and then this will be lined with trees eventually, and I like that. Yeah, okay. So our, our central little area, because we have, this is going to be a well. Now, what I want to do with this area, I'm really unsure about. Um, this little three by three. Maybe a fruit tree right there. You know what? We should make more room for fruit trees. Because they need like an open 3x3 three three area to grow. Let's go to bed. Plans for tomorrow. Lights? Yeah, lights are going to be peppered everywhere, but they don't need like a 3x3 three three area. They just need a 1x1, one one, so there's going to be a lot of like lights just kind of poked in some grass. Uh, there's an explosion, so heads up, I guess. Um, Who are you? Susan? Hello, I'm Susan. The owner of Emerald Farm up at the railroad. Oh yeah, you're the one who was stuck. Been trapped up there alone ever since Jojo caused the rock slide, so I have a bit of cabin fever. Happy to finally meet you, Ickle. Happy to meet you, Susan. Stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have the time. Iggy. Here's grass starter recipe is a thousand and it takes ten fiber each. You got plenty of fiber, but not as much as I would like. So, uh, but we will do that because fiber is easy to grind in the mines. Um, yeah, this is nice. And then I'm thinking like, there you go. This is like doggy house. This is dog's, dog's house. Do I really want to like lean into it and do something like that? No, that's a little too much. That's too much. Uh, 
Um, though I am going to do... No, no, that's, that, that's, these spaces are no. Oh, well, that's because he's in the way. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's because the house is eventually going to. There we are. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll work out what we're going to do with these back areas later. I can go ahead and. Work on that. Um, suppose it'll start kind of. So this is this is the tricky sitch because I have this nice big grass area. I think this is gonna be bee houses. I think this is gonna be a big like alley of bee houses. That's gonna like kind of run up. So we're gonna do that. And then this is gonna peel up that way. So we're actually gonna delete like all of these. Eventually, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll work that out later. I'm running low on stone. But yeah, I like the idea of this all being bee houses. And then, uh... That's, yeah. End of sentence. <laughs> yes, this is this can be like bee house row, and then we'll have like this stuff. And I think this this area is where we can start kind of like cutting it out with the paths. And now we just use natural dirt. Uh, I just need to maybe I can make this can be like a nice big town square area that's like really pathed, and then that's kind of like because we need some big like marker that will say like all right paths are done, no more paths. Now, I got a lot of shit right now in my inventory. Let me, here, I'm going to keep this in here because this chest is always, like, empty. Let me dump a lot of it. This is getting dumped. The quartz can be dumped for sure. Geode. Uh, let's go buy a well. I think it's just stone and money. So, we're going to go to Marnie. We're going to get a well. Then we're going to swing over to... Damn it, he's closed. I forgot. No, we're not going to swing over to Pierre to get a grass starter. Our first tree grew, though, in our tree farm, so that's exciting. Alright, so no grass yet. Then I guess today we'll go foraging. Instead of making some grass on our farm. We could also grind for fiber. Um, so we can, once we have the grass starter recipe, we'll be ready to go. It looks so much nicer in here. Okay. Starts farm buildings. A well is a thousand G and 75 stone. I'm just going to buy some stone while I'm here. Here we go. Okay. That's it. All right. So there's going to be a well there, and it's going to look great. Start working on a well first thing in the morning. Thanks, Robin. Okay. Yeah, no no, uh, no grass starter today, so we're actually going to spend the day getting fiber. This is, this is the weirdest thing, is I'm now, like, fully alternating between saying I'm going to go all in on grinding for stuff that gets me money. And now I'm going all in on grinding aesthetics. Like there are a lot of things we could be doing today that would be better if we wanted money at this moment. But like now that all of our awesome crops are in the ground, I'm taking a breather break from the money. Because now I'm hyper focused on the aesthetic side of things. Floor 80 is the spot. I don't have my weapon on me, so we might die in here. But I'm just in it for the fiber. This is a terrible idea. Okay. I should not be here without my hammer. We'll come back. Can we see that new farm? Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a let's take a stroll. Let's take a stroll by the railroad farm.
Maybe, yeah, maybe it is smarter to just go foraging today for both XP reasons. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, and also, we've been having so many energy problems. All right, Susan. What are you working with up here? Emerald Farm. Well, isn't this just the cutest thing? Your house is adorable, Susan. Susan, you have an adorable house. And there she is. Thankful Jojo cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting her to remove the rocks. Jojo refuses to apologize. Oh, lots of kegs. I like your style. Susan, you're cool. Let me just... Not marryable. Wah, wah. Okay. Uh, there's a little recolor glitch up there. Okay, we're gonna go drop stuff off and then forge today. And then if we have time left at the end of the day, we'll cut trees. Man, this is really trouble for me. Okay, so you know I'm getting sidetracked. Because I don't want these stone paths over here. I don't. I want this to be just dirt once you get to this area. But I do want stone paths over this way. So I think I think the solution is to just we're gonna move that camping thing and to make like a nice big square with benches and lamps and whatever with a peel off that then goes this way and that's it and that's it okay i do like what we're doing though with um with the other path stuff that we've been working on i'm very happy with that Just keep all my like food and stuff in there. Okay, we're going foraging. Uh, beach first. We're at level five. Soon we get to level six, the better, because I want a lightning rod. A few of them. Seriously considered buying a laptop just because I want to play Roblox. Dude, Roblox rules. I guarantee there's nothing to be worried about, Mayor. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. She was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation. To... Everything is under control and will be fine, Mayor. And what of the garbage Jojo dumps into the river, Morris? Willie, our local fisherman, says he's catching Georgia CDs and cola cans. Might I remind you, perusant, to... Oh, my God. Pursuant. Might I remind you, pursuant, to... Buh, 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 buh. Buh, 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 buh. Hello, Wickle. Okay. This is just on my way. Nice to meet you, folks. Good day, Morris. No, I don't get to have a say in the issue. Oh, thank goodness. Jojo is paving a way to greatness in Stardew Valley. It's only a matter of time until we are all united under Jojo. Sounds good. Love you. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you around, my friend. Lots of new cutscenes, I've noticed. Far more than I expected. And I'm enjoying it. Meow. <laughs> Hi. Doesn't rain much in summer, does it? You are a sharp one, Emily. Last name. Nice. Nice. And here comes lame ass Victor. The explosion last night? Judge blew up the rocks blocking Susan's house. Victor is so boring, it's crazy. 
I'm sorry for all the like Victor lovers. Holy smokes. What are you trying? So when you actually stepped on a bug. I'm sorry. Um, do you want a flower? It's a really nice gift. Thank you. Do you feel better about the bug thing now? Also, can I be the bug next time? All right, see you. He's a seasoned as flower. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't know. Well, maybe if I get to know him better, he'll start being a little more intriguing. Yo, another new right. Nope, it's not. We already had that. That's fine. Sophia, do you like flowers? Because I also like you like flower. Uh, she's ignoring you. She looks sad. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I hope that flower treats you well. <laughs> what's uh, what's our highest heart right now? Sophia, we're pretty Haley because we gave her a birthday gift. La 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 la. Nothing really happening down there. Alright, I better find just copious amounts of goodies in here. Grapes. Already. Already grapes. And just like that, grapes. In a mushroom even way. Okay, let me go down here. Check down here. Give it a bit of them. Fuck, my computer died. I'm sorry. When's the wake? <laughs> <laughs> Am I invited to the reception? Huh? Dramatic. Ooh. I already have like a thousand. Those are just like everywhere. And I don't... I don't need them. Which is cruel, because that was the last artifact that I was really hunting for a while for on the Perfection series. That's kind of uncool. Bum, bum, ba, la, bum, bum. la 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 la. Ding, ding, ding. A few treats over there. I'm a bit disappointed so far by the concentration of goods. Less than I was hoping for.
I can go the long way. Because you never know what lovely surprises you might find. I'm bored. Wait, Spice Berry. See? Remember that Sigma grind set thing I was talking about last week? Lo and behold. It's 5.05. I lost track of time. We're technically over time. So I guess this is going to be our last night. Crazy. Uh, uh, yeah, a sweet pea, a grape. That's another, um, bundle finished. So how about that? How about it? Hey, remember how I... <sighs> Remember how you're doing this for energy? Remember how it's... Uh, God, I just went on autopilot and started selling everything. Too tired. Alright, cool. Well, whatever. Um, I'm still thinking about, like... Yeah, this is gonna look good with the uh, bee, bee house thing. So I guess it'll just make some flowers and some little circles of bee houses. And, uh, yeah, get some honey, be some lovely trees out and about. This is kind of the thing that I am most intimidated by, the idea of trying to make, like, a, 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 a central square. But, hey, we'll figure it out, right? All right. Oh, I'm sleepy. That was good. That was very good. That was very, very good. Robin's hard at work on our well. Um, have lots of things filling in all these. Lots of grass. That's what I'm excited for. Tomorrow. We're going to play this literally again tomorrow. Ickle! Exclamation point. Thanks, Susan. Um... Cool. So yeah, we a lot done today. Made it to summer. Did a lot of designing. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. At least this area, I, I, I dig. I think it'll look a lot better once there's a lot of grass and fruit trees and normal tr person trees everywhere. We'll have this nice little, like, circle around the pond with some benches and lights. I think it'll look good. Then we'll have beehive area, animals, probably more crops down here. Uh, I like that. And then we have a tree farm up to the north. Yeah, I think this is going to come together. I do. I don't know what's going to go here. Let's see. Fruit trees, I guess. But yeah, I'm liking it. I think for a first summer, this is a pretty good looking estate. I should water these. No, I shouldn't because I'm logging off. All right, Boo Bears. We got an ounce of music there for a moment. Uh, be back tomorrow, same time. So... Tune in if you please, and um, take care of your knees. Don't forget to sneeze. Peace, 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 peace out.